Just why you don't need to spend a fortune on protection for your family this summer. You don't need to spend a lot of money to get good protection. You don't need to spend a lot of money to get good protection. The cheaper brands, they have an SPF, but they are just as good as the most expensive. They look different, sell for different prices and claim different things. But according to the experts, many sunscreens are almost exactly the same. The $40 product and the $9 product are rated equally. Tonight, a dermatologist's guide on what to look for and what to buy. Then our cameras go inside the lab to see how sunscreens really compare. We're going to show you how we test the sunscreen according to the Australian standard. First, let's clear up a couple of very famous myths. Number one, 15 plus is as good as SPF 30. The 30 plus basically gives you an estimated reading of how much protection a product is going to allow you when you're out in the sun. 15 plus lets through 1 15th, so yes, 30 plus offers double the protection. You only have to burn four times a year to quadruple your risk of melanoma. Secondly, the common belief you only burn on really hot days. The temperature is irrelevant when it comes to how much percentage of UV rays that we've got in the atmosphere, and it's the UV rays that cause the burning, not the actual temperature of the day. So for top protection, it has to be 30 plus, broad spectrum and water resistant. We've bought more than a dozen leading brands for dermatologist Natasha Cook to examine, compare and rank. It's really hard to know though, isn't it? It's confusing and it's a whole industry. Sunscreen technology is very tricky and constantly changing. They all provide good, safe coverage, but Natasha admits some are slightly better than others. She divides them into two groups. The first contain only chemical blockers. They all vary in price, but Natasha can barely choose between them for sun protection. I think if you're on a budget, you really can't go past the bulk packaged products. They're very similar in their level of protection in something that's in a smaller package. You're basically getting four times the volume for a very similar price. The Aldi pump costs $9, compared to, say, the UV Triple Guard at 15. If you're a discerning consumer, and you want to go that extra mile and you're looking for an optimal product. The second group has the addition of a physical blocker. I think the addition of a physical blocker, you can't go wrong. Again, some do cost more and Natasha believes they're all pretty much as good as each other in preventing sunburn. Her top four if you're willing to pay the extra money. Australia has uh, probably the most stringent uh, series of checks before a product can actually be marketed as a sunscreen. The reason they're all so similar is every sunscreen in Australia has to be TGA approved. Scientist Gavin Greenoak runs one of two labs in the country who make sure they meet all the guidelines. People will often not hit the mark first go. Um, so we get uh, possibly 50% will fail where, what they, where they want to go but will achieve it eventually. Each formula is tested on humans using simulated sunlight. If it passes the first phase, the subject then goes into the spa to test for water resistance. What we're seeing here is responses of the skin through a sunscreen which is not meeting the estimation of its protection. It's important to apply at least 15 minutes before going outside. The formula breaks down when applied to the skin and needs the time to resettle and offer the maximum protection. And don't skimp on quantity. But what I tell people is to apply their product, apply the sunscreen, and then apply it again. Apply it twice. Oh, I've been using an oil with number four in it. I don't use it. You keep slapping it on the kids, and you just don't <coughs> put it on the adults. Clearly, the message still isn't getting through to some, but if skin cancer isn't scary enough, consider this. From the way our skin ages, sun is the number one cause of skin ageing. It's not necessary to spend uh, a large amount of money on sunscreen at all. The cheaper brands, they have an SPF, they are just as good as the most expensive. It comes down to personal choice.